All right, I'm back with part two here of the uh, Killer Instinct restoration. Not a lot needs to be done to this cabinet, which is good and bad. Good because I don't need to invest a lot of money into it, and it's in really nice shape. But bad because I actually wanted a little bit of a project to do over a certain amount of time, but there's not really a lot to do on this, and um, probably maybe 50, 60 bucks worth of parts, and this thing will be cherry mint. So I have not turned it on yet um, to test it and see if it works. Um, what I've done so far is just basically clean it up, put the glass, uh, the bezel, and the monitor in, hooked up the monitor power, the monitor uh, connection, put the PCB and the kick harness all in. Um, have not changed the joysticks and buttons, the Lexan or the marquee, because I frankly don't have those parts yet and I'm not going to order them today because I don't have time. Um, but I did talk to the seller about these two marks on the side. This one right here, which I guess it looks like shit to me, but um, I can touch it up. I can match that paint pretty nicely so it almost doesn't exist. But, you know, it's there, and I know it's there, but what are you going to do? You know, this is what happens in shipping. Uh, you got to make sure that it's properly wrapped either in a blanket or, you know, the shipping company does a better job handling it. But it could be a lot worse. It could be through, you know, like his skull or through the through the middle of the side art, and that would have pissed me off. Uh, I probably would have filed a claim, but... This one over here is, you know, it's it's a significant little scratch, but once again, it's in the black, so not that big of a deal. But, um, you know, it's a little bit of a disappointment, but, um, you know, you can see he touched it up over here, so you can see it, but you can't see it. So I, I might touch that up, too, to match it up nicely. I have some paint. Usually it's a flat black paint that I buy at, at Lowe's, but um, and it'll match up pretty nice. So I'll just show you what I've done. Obviously put the monitor in the glass and the bezel in. The bezel, for those of you who don't know, is this black piece that goes around um, and kind of closes up the gap between the side of the cabinet and the monitor so it looks nice. Um, here's the kick harness right here. Uh, I showed you that before from jamaboards.com. I think it was like $14.75 plus a couple of bucks shipping. So $16 bucks for a brand new harness. Not a bad deal at all. There's the PCB right there. Uh, you can see the kick harness is all the way down to the left. Um, it plugs directly into the PCB. There's no modifications, and it is a good length to where you can see there's a little bit of slack left here. Um, so it probably has another six or seven inches before it's maxed out, and you know, I kind of routed it nice and neat. I like to have a nice, neat cabinet in here. I also monitor, uh, mounted the monitor pot board up here, and this is what you know adjusts the vertical hold, the horizontal hold, brightness, contrast, all those things. So... Um, that's really all I've done. Let's turn it on and see if it works. Marquee lights up. Sound checks out. I know the PCB works. You know, worked before in the monitor, worked before in the other room, so as you can see, it works perfect. I'll let it run a minute. really needs a new marquee. That slice right there and that cut in that looks like shit. Monitor looks great. This is that one I bought on eBay about a year and a half ago. It just looks fantastic. It's super bright. Point door bulbs both work. One of them is a little dim. As you can see, that one right there is really dim compared to this one. That's an easy fix. Let's see if we can access the menu here. So it's 1.5. This machine's got one of the better soundtracks uh, of all the 1990s games. 1994. So, um, I don't need to do any of these. Obviously, you guys that know this stuff know what it is. Now, I'm not going to be able to play this with one hand, but... See if I can't set this down and do an ultra combo here. No, I got nothing to set it down, but you can see the picture is beautiful on this monitor. 
And there's no fading, no no gaps, nothing. It's dead on. Tough to do with one hand, but um, very impressed with the condition of this cabinet. A couple of small issues in shipping, like I said there before. Need to order a new marquee. I'm thinking about doing the uh, light blue T-molding around. I've seen a couple online. Um, kind of looks cool. I might just get black and blue and see which one I like better. It's really cheap. It's like, you know, 20 bucks. And then it needs new joysticks. The joysticks are both real sloppy. A couple of new player one and player two buttons. And then needs a new completely drilled out Lexan, which I hate doing, but, um, you know, it's not the end of the world, but... Looks pretty good. Also, if anybody knows where to get, I'm pretty sure K Killer Instinct has some kind of a move card or an instruction card here or up here. I can't remember where where it was or what it looks like. I can't remember my old one. I have to look back at my old videos. But if anybody has access to one of those or a file that I can print off, that would be great. I'm also looking for, I know that Game On Graphics has um, a bezel that goes around the whole thing and shows all the moves and the finishing moves. But it's made for a 19-inch monitor. I'd like to find one that's either got cards like uh, your MK Arcade Source made for MK games for the Killer Instinct game so I can put them around there but other than that it looks good um, I'm going to put it in the house after I'm done completely redoing it and uh, put it in between the two MK cabs so I'll make a video when I'm done doing all the other stuff if anybody has any questions I'm not doing anything in particular on this cabinet let me know and I'll uh, make a video on it but pretty impressed See you next time.